I'm Julie, keeper of my home, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a room that needs a total overhaul. My pantry. You can kind of see it behind me. Yeah, I'm trying to ignore it. I'm thinking that it'll disappear or maybe a fairy will come in and clean it for me, but probably not going to happen. So it looks like I'm going to have to tackle this one. It needs everything. It needs everything from painting, to cleaning, decluttering, organizing, it needs it all. So that is what I'm going to be doing today. You may see a change in outfits because it's probably gonna take me more than one day to get this video fully uh, filmed because I have a lot of other things going on this week as well. Let me just show you what that room looks like right now. This is our pantry. It's in desperate need of cleaning, organizing, and well, a lot of help. I don't normally let it go like this, but I have let it go because little by little I've been in here just sorting through things and I'm not really putting anything back because I knew that I was going to uh, make a video of this room and so I just kind of left it in its current condition. I'm being totally honest with you. I've literally just let it go. I don't know. I need to paint my walls. I need to paint the trim. I need to do something with the ceiling. I need to paint the shelves. I need to take everything out of here and not put it back until I've completely redone this space. First, let me just say, yes, I did change my clothes. Tony, in case you're noticing, it's a different shirt. I've got a lot of work to do. This is gonna, this is gonna be a lot of elbow grease, I think. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by lugging everything out and putting it onto my kitchen island. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be a lot of work. But I'm up for it. I can do this. So let's get going. This is going to be the most extreme cleaning motivation that I have ever given you. This is going to take a while. Longest video to date for sure. But I promise the end result is going to be amazing. You're going to want to see this. You whisper to me there's no So I actually have a place down in our basement where I keep our canning jars. So I'm just going to bring these uh, down there and put those away. Sometimes I'm like a whisper in a riot, but I grow stronger, keep believing in me. cleaned this whole side off. I still have the other side to go. I'm going to vacuum off the counters and just get them all cleaned and gonna try to work one side um, at a time because this is really overwhelming for the rest of my house. This is still the same. Still upside down. But let me show you what the rest of my house looks like. This is my island. My husband, I had to leave him a little spot for when he gets home because <laughs> I don't know what he's gonna think when he sees this. And this is the corner of my dining room. Yeah, there's just a few things going on here, down here, and on the table as well.
I have a bucket of water here with some a uh, little bit of soap and I am going to scrub everything. It is raw wood, it's not finished with anything. Um, so I'm going to be really careful to wring my rag out really well, but it does need to be washed. Then I'm going to let them dry and I'm going to paint them. I'm going to paint this side first and then I'll work on that side. It's just going to be easier because like I said, I've just got so much out there. I don't want to overwhelm my living space. So let's just get started. You can see this is, even the walls are really, really dirty. Uh, where we burn wood, it just gets everywhere. The smoke settles in and we painted several times and uh, it's just something we're going to have to keep doing. Although my ceilings are taking a real beating, you can see along the edges of the, where the wall meets the ceiling. So we are going to do something different, some type of a treatment for the ceiling. I'm not sure what yet, but I will be doing the ceiling. I'll be a girl. painting I'm just doing you know around um, the areas where the roller is not going to be able to get I've washed all the walls and the shelving and this shelf here this cabinet that was my husband's grandmother so that's actually the color of it it looks a little dark here but that's because that that was like in the wall um, where it was at his grandmother's house and we just wanted it here um, so we just put it up on the wall in the pantry that door flips down and it's a cutting board and uh, when you flip it down and you can see here where I've painted I'm going to leave these countertops wood I am going to sand them down a bit because they are a mess I have some board wax that I use on our butcher block counter and I'm going to use that on those. So right now, I am going to get painting. This is just my way of keeping the paint off the countertop as I'm painting. It's just a sheet of notebook paper and I just move it along as I go. This was so hard for me to paint over, but don't worry, I'm going to bring it back. trying to decide on a trim. I had a trim decided. This was the color right here. And then I put it on and my husband didn't think that it was a uh, good enough contrast. So I tried this color and yeah, that's just a little bit too dark for me. And then we tried this color, which is actually the same color we have in the laundry room and the laundry room cabinets. Um, I just kind of brushed some on there, but that's a bit dark for me. 
So again, we went back to the one that I had originally planned in here, and I think that's what we're going to go with. Um, I really need a second coat on here, and it's coming off gray on the camera, but it's not really gray. It's more of a light, light tan, but I don't know. I'm going to keep going with it and see, uh, see how it looks. You can see down here. Uh, it's a little bit more true color down here. I've got to put another coat, but you get an idea. <clears throat> it's just a little bit off of the wall color paint, but I think it's going to look good. Was all alone on a one-way track, nothing ahead and there was no way back. So I tried, yes I tried, you can go run and hide when your wall begins to crack. Standing here, so what am I supposed to do? I'm at ease, baby, please let go. Have no fear, cause I'm head over heels with you. I said, Whoa, whoa, can't seem to fight this feeling. And no matter what you call it, what you call it, I only know. We're both really loving the color of these shelves. My husband has popped in a few times to look at them and they really look great. We're liking the color and most of all, I'm really liking the bright white on the wall. It just looks so much cleaner and brighter. As you can see, the walls are in terrible condition. This is just, it's a mess and I'm really rethinking whether or not we are going to keep the cook stove. I mean, we love using it. It's great and it's nice and warm in the winter, but I just can't keep painting all the time. It's expensive to hire somebody to do it and it's a lot of work for me to do it myself. I mean, I still have the rest of the house to do as well. The whole time I've been painting this room and working in here, I have my phone on YouTube and I've been watching cleaning videos and listening to Joel Osteen. This has been the best company for me and it's just been a lot of motivation, spiritually and physically. Sometimes you just need it all. We're almost halfway there. I am so excited. I cannot wait for you to see the end result. Okay, so I feel like I'm, I don't know, so confused at this point. I've started and stopped and picked up somewhere else and gone somewhere else and done this and done that and now I'm just like frazzled of where to begin. I did get the countertop sanded and um, probably I should have done that before I painted, but I didn't. 
what I need to do is get some things up on, on the shelves. I have no clue how I'm going to do this, what my organization is going to be, I don't know. So um, I just need to get going. But I did pick a few things up at Walmart uh, last week. These are just some little decorative jars um, that I'm going to put some things in. What I'm going to put in these, I couldn't tell you. At this point, I don't know. Um, and let's see, I have a few of those. And I have some other ones as well. I have the bigger ones and I have the smaller ones. And then I have these ones. So uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to put in them, but I'll figure something out. And I have this, which is a spice rack and it expands. This is going to be a game changer for me because I can uh, do more than just one row. I can kind of stack it up so I can see what's behind. So uh, that's going to be really nice to have. So I'm just going to get this put on the shelves. I have no idea what order I'm putting it in. I do know I want my spices over here because they will be over my uh, breadboard. That side seems to be the side I work on most and this side is just kind of more storage. So let's get going on that. Get full of pasta. So I'm going to put some pasta in jars. I love the look of pasta in jars. Changing fire. This is how I keep my little my flavorings. I keep them all because they're all in these little tiny little jars so I keep them all in this one big jar and usually I use these around holiday time because it's peppermint, lemon, um, different ones like that so I keep those in there. And this is some sugar. It's vanilla sugar. I just put sugar in there with some vanilla beans and I use this sugar in like um, chocolate chip cookies or something because it gives it that extra vanilla flavor. Okay, so, so far, this is what I have. I still have quite a bit of empty space. That top shelf is completely empty. I think I'm just gonna put things up there that I don't need right off. This is my baking side. So it's usually anything that has to do with baking is on this side. On the opposite side, I have my pastas, my barley, quinoa, things like that, rice. I still have quite a mess. A lot of stuff going on here. So I need to get this organized and uh, figured out. Oh, and uh, yeah, everything here as well. I got my work cut out for me, folks. It goes on and on. But I can do this. I can do this. So I'm going to get to work. Should be the ones to learn 
is how the countertops came out. I am very pleased with them. They uh, look a lot better than they did. They're not so dry. Now let's move on to the bottom shelf. Okay, so this shelf and the underneath are all cleaned out. I need to vacuum this out, vacuum the bottom, I need to scrub the floor, wipe this down, and then I'm going to paint this whole lower part. I think it's just going to be easier to clean the shelves if they're painted. So let's get started. Okay, so I had originally planned on just doing this part and then cleaning that part out and doing that part waiting for this to dry, <laughs> but the problem with that is I have so much stuff in here and out there and in my dining room and in my living room, I can't believe all of that fit in here. I just have no more room, so I'm just going to second coat this as soon as it's dry and um, and then put the stuff back on this shelf and then work on the next one let it dry put the stuff back because there is no way I'm going to fit all of this out um, on this floor it's just I'm tripping over everything I'm stepping on everything I'm forgetting where everything is so that's my plan now I'm gonna get to work I cannot go God, I'm praying I'm not alone in this air hole of hope. Cause I'm in love, you're a star burning bright in my heart. We're going away, get your back, check the tag. Decision is. You probably saw where I painted over my stencil. I love that stencil. So I just taped my. Uh, stencil back up and I'm going to redo it. Okay, the results are in. Pretty darn good. Time for this cupboard. The other one is has had its second coat and I have filled it. Now I'm going to clean this one out. Right now I'm watching Love Meg. If you've never checked her channel out, please go there. You will not be disappointed. She always gives me great cleaning motivation, especially when I have tasks like this that need to get done. My pantry is finished. I am so excited. It only took four and a half days. I even got dressed for the occasion. It's just 
it's so beautiful. I love it. I am thrilled with the results. My husband is thrilled with the results. Now let me show you and you can tell me what you think of the results. Okay, I'll start in this corner. This basket belonged to my uncle. He made it and uh, it's filled with all kinds of old treasures. And there's a cutting board in behind it. And this is an old picture that I found fitting to be in this room. And then we have my mixer, my countertops. Look at my countertops. Didn't they come out great? I just sanded them down and used a little board oil. I love them. And then over in this corner, this is my baking stuff, all my jars. On the shelves, we have all my baking stuff. And this is a, a meat grinder that belonged to my grandmother, so I like to have that in here. Here's all my spices. Remember I told you these are Parmesan cheese lids. The containers, the Parmesan cheese containers, just take the lids and they fit on mason jars and I use them for my spices and herbs and different things. They're great. I have a couple of old cookbooks that I use over and over, you can tell. These are my flowers and sugars and coconut. These jars are just mason jars that I got at Walmart. The shelves are all painted. They're going to be so much easier for me to wash. This is the next shelf up. Those are my teas. Some garlic and beans, popcorn an old recipe box that belonged to my mother-in-law and just some more baking goods. This space is going to be so much more efficient for me. It's just cleaner and everything is put out where I can see it. These are from a co-op that I belong to. I don't really use that much baking powder. They just gave me the containers that were left and I use them for storage. There's a bowl, cake stand, and some jars. I had to bring that stencil back. It's just perfect. It just, my husband and I love a simple life. So we had to have that there. On my windowsill, you'll see I have a little cheese grater. I have it sitting on a little candle at night. It's just the light is so perfect at night. And yes, it is still snowing here. In this corner, we have a geranium that's trying to come back. This winter weather is not helping it. And my countertops. I love my countertops. We have my husband's old gumball machine. He bought that in, at an antique place, and uh, the grandkids love it. They're always asking for nickels. And I have a basket full of linens. And my bread box. And of course, at your grandparents' house, you always have to have a jar filled with candy. And over here I have my jelly cupboard. It's just where I keep all my canning and my cookbooks and things. And this is a book that was given to me by a friend. I think it just fits this space perfectly. And up above, I have more cookbooks and some bowls. And then up here I have some baskets. These baskets are sectioned off. There's three sections in each basket, so I was able to put marinades and gravies and dips and sauces in those. And then we have pantry items and, you know, different things that we use. And down here I have jars again. I love using jars, and you can see over here I've got the Coffee Mate creamer containers. Yes, they are reusable. I can leave a link above to my video that shows you all kinds of cool things like that. These are all my pastas and rice and quinoa and different things. And I have some dehydrated vegetables that I use for soups and stews and different flavored oils. And this section over here is just some old stuff that my husband loves anything old, so I did have to put these things back in here. Under here, uh, we have my microwave and our dehydrator. I love that these cabinets are painted. These shelves are going to be so much easier to clean, and there is nothing underneath. 
there was before and I'm glad that I was able to clean everything out. Okay, underneath of the sink, there's a bin in the back and that just holds extra paper items, napkins and paper plates for different, um, like I think I've got 4th of July things in there, just leftover stuff. And here's a basket filled with jellos and puddings and a couple flashlights hanging. They're magnetic, so they're hanging from the sink. And some homemade vanilla flavoring that um, we make ourselves. And that cup is what I use to water my geranium. My instant pot, crock pot, rice cooker. And there's the little stool. Our grandkids pull that out so they can reach the sink. This is the perfect sink for them to wash their hands at. Okay, underneath my baking station, I have my Ninja and all of the attachments to that. And then I have these cute little bins. They are fabric, and I bought them at Walmart. I can't honestly remember the price, but they were pretty low in price. I have some flour and extra sugar and curry powder and just extra items. And this one is filled with extra pasta and uh, different rice and stuff and then this one has my canning salt ice cream salt and cereal and then over here i have our plastic wrap and different kinds of vinegars and molasses i've said it many times i know I would change my ways, I know for sure When all the crows decide to meet They settle down beneath my feet I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson hanging on Come sit here with me by the fire So what do you think? My husband and I are both thrilled with the space. I'm loving that these are going to be a whole lot easier to clean and wipe down. The countertops I think are my favorite part and I just sanded them and put a little oil on them. It's the same oil that I use on our butcher block island. I like the darker, richer color of the wood. I like that it's lighter in here. The light comes in a lot, it just seems like it comes in a lot more and I know it's just the lighter color of the trim. I'm not going to put curtains up. I don't think I need them in this space. The more light, the better. It's a small space. I still have the ceiling to do. That's going to have to come in an update, but be on the lookout. You're really going to love the ceiling that I picked out. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, leave me a thumbs up. If you're new, I'd love to have you join my family of keepers by subscribing below. And until next time. And I still remember parts of it, and the yellow glory.